100 FM, the Pike, Worcester's Rock Station, and Motley Crue at 834. And that is uh, Jordan LaValle Smotherman's theme song this morning. He's the captain for your Worcester Railers. <laughs> and uh, he just got off the bus from uh, from up there in Quebec after, a, what was it, a 4-3 to three win, Jordan? Can you? Yes, uh, yes. Yeah, okay. Uh, I thought you fell asleep there. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. No, still, still with you guys. Yeah. Okay. Right here. Right. The bus ride has to feel a little bit better after a win as opposed to coming back at O-Dark 30 after a loss. So that's good. Oh, it definitely does. I'm not sure you guys would have me on here if uh, if, if we had lost that game <laughs> and had that long bus ride. It would have been too grumpy. <laughs> <laughs> well, congrats on the win. Uh, and congrats on making it back uh, here to uh, Worcester. And you guys have a busy weekend coming up, another three and three weekends starting tomorrow night. And then uh, Saturday is Military Appreciation Night. Yeah, right. right. Which, and that's that's probably going to have a huge crowd there, mm-hmm. too, which is great. And then another afternoon game on Sunday. Um, and uh, so you guys are in third place now, which is great. You're kind of securing. I don't even want you know, I feel. Yeah, I feel iffy saying securing. You're, it just looks a lot better for the playoff outlook. I don't want to jinx it. How do you feel there. about it? Uh, I, I'm feeling good about it. Uh, I mean, this this team went through a, a ton this year. Uh, we, we've talked about it in the past with all the COVID stuff, um, and you know we're, we're finally settling down. We've got the group of guys that we want, and we, we really are happy with, um, and we're we're just starting to, to play better hockey. I mean. To climb out of the basement and find ourselves in, in third place, let alone um, in, in the playoffs, in a playoff spot, is, is huge um, and very exciting with you know, 17, 18 games to go. And you uh, had uh, yourself a personal milestone recently, right? 900 uh, professional games played? Yes. Yeah, last night it was number 900 for me, which was uh, a good experience. Another reason why the, the win felt so good. Now, is that something that you know going in, or is that something that, uh, you know, the folks have to tell you, hey, by the way, this is your 900th game. Obviously, you're not tallying them, but is this something you keep track of? Uh, that one that one I knew going in. Um, at the beginning of the year, I started looking because I knew I was getting close to 1,000. So I was curious when that was going to happen. I'll hit 1,000 total, like if you include playoffs and everything, actually in like six games. Um, but nobody ever counts playoffs. Never really understood why. They are they are games. And they're probably uh, harder played games and harder fought games than a regular season game. Yep, yeah, they should almost count times too. Right? Um, yeah. Yeah. But uh I mean it just means I'm gonna have to play a couple more seasons to get to a thousand. <laughs> well, I was looking it up and uh and then I realized this is just NHL, but it's Patrick Marlowe yeah. who has the most games played, I believe, at one thousand seven hundred and seventy nine. Uh, that's just he NHL. Just, he, just, he, just passed this, he just passed that this year. He, yeah, that's right. Yeah, he's a free agent yeah. now. Maybe you guys could give him a call. <laughs> 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 and then it's the uh, the incomparable Gordie Howe behind him, Mark Messier at third, Yager, Ron Francis. Former Bruin coming yeah. up on that list. And Jumbo Joe, Joe Thornton, another yeah. former Bruin. Zidane Charo, uh, Chara at seven. Mark Recchi. Wow, a lot of Bruins up here. Chris Chelios at number nine. And... Uh, the legendary Dave Andrichuk at number 10, though. You think he'll make it to, like, 1,800 games? 1,800? <laughs> uh, Come on, you can do it. Eight, eight, I think I would be playing until I was 50 at that point. I don't think that's going to happen. <laughs> well, Gordie Howe, I mean, you know, Gordie Howe played his last <laughs> professional game when he was, like, what, 60 or something like that? Uh, he came out of retirement, I think it was, at, like, 52 um, to play a game or, or two with his, his son, I believe, is what that story was. I could be way wrong, though. It is, it is 8.30 in the morning, and I'm going off. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. <laughs> Jordan had a good game, a great game, last Friday night, uh, scoring two goals in that game, his team leading 24th and 25th, and his punishment for his uh, for being the number one star of the game was having to do a post-game interview with me on the ice. Uh, oh but uh, you had a big smile on your face. And man, you're playing really well right now, personally. Uh, I, I am, and, and I think a, a big key to that is, especially at this point of the season, when you start to get to the dog days where you're you're playing a lot, and you know the weather's not great, it's still cold and dark outside, um, is, is is having fun. Um, and and our, you know our locker room is great. I, I love going to the rink every day and seeing these guys, uh, and, and and winning on top of that just makes it that much better. Jordan, uh, we're going to wrap it up here because I know you're super tired. Got to get your rest. You know, you guys got to hang on, maybe make it to second place at some point. But I want to leave with one more question. What is what is tougher, uh, that eight-hour bus ride from Quebec back to Worcester and getting up, you know, early to, to practice or whatever, or 
the post game interview with Adam Webster. <laughs> <laughs> You know what? I enjoy those post games interview. Those post game interviews. It typically means that we've had a good game. It typically means I've had a good game. Um, so, so I'll, I'll take those any day. <laughs> exactly. And I'll give one more for me. And this is Saturday. So tomorrow night, seven p.m. Saturday, seven p.m. is Military Appreciation Night. Sunday at three. So at three and three at the DCU Center. RailersHC.com for tickets. How important and how uh, what what a privilege it is to play on the ice for Military Appreciation Night. Talk about uh, you know. You're born and raised here. Talk about your appreciation uh, for playing in that game. Oh, it's it's it's, it's a massively important game. Um, you know, we, we we play a lot of these special Jersey night games for different causes, um, but this is definitely a big one, especially with you know everything that's going on in the world right now. I'm sure all of our military is is kind of on edge and on guard, mm-hmm. um, and the the amount of respect I have for for all of those people who have. Who have put their lives on the line to, to protect our freedoms uh, is, is is kind of uncalculable. So I, I I'm very excited to to play a game and uh, in honor of them and, and something that will benefit uh, a charity related to them. Well, we're looking forward to it, uh, Jordan. Thank you very much for joining us this morning. I know you're looking forward to getting back to bed and <laughs> getting a few more hours of sleep in there. But uh, this uh, weekend, you can see uh, Jordan Lavalley Smother- Smotherman, the captain of your Worcester Railers. Uh, tomorrow night, Saturday night, Sunday afternoon at 3 and 3. RailersHC.com is the place. Jordan, thank you so much, man. We appreciate you getting up after sleeping for an hour and dealing with us, man. Thank you. Uh, I wouldn't I wouldn't do it for any other morning show, so I, I appreciate you guys having me on. Thank you. All right, you, Jordan. Thanks a lot, man. We'll see you over at the DCU Center. That's uh, Jordan right. Lavalley Smotherman. And, uh, again, RailersHC.com uh, to get your tickets in advance.